Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're looking into no contact situations between you and your person to find out if they still care and also to see if they're coming back or moving on. This is a general reading for the collective, so not all of this reading will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take what resonates with you, what speaks to your soul, and release the rest to the universe. Before we get started, we want to thank you all for your comments and your support and for allowing us to be part of your journey. And if you're interested in looking into your personal journey, we've been doing private readings for over 30 years, and there is a link in the description below and pinned to the top comment on how to get private readings with us. For today's Pick a Card reading, there are three options for your selection. Pile number one is the card on the left with the pink heart in the center. Pile number two is the card in the middle with the pink and yellow diamond shape in the center. And pile number three is the card on the right with the large pink sunburst. Choose the one you're most drawn to, but it's best to go with your first impression because that's your intuition leading you. The timestamps are below in the description and pinned to the top comment. So take a moment to relax and let's begin your journey today. I will see you in your readings. Hi, pal number one. Welcome to your reading. In today's pick a card reading, we're looking into no contact situations between you and your person to find out if they still care and to see if they're coming back or moving on. Please remember this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please just take in what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. Now to get the most out of today's reading, we will do it in two different sections. So on the top row, we will ask spirit about their feelings to see if they still care. And on the second row, we will ask what actions they are taking to see if they're coming back or moving on. So let's get right into this reading for pile number one. That is the plan anyway. Sometimes spirit will flop, flip flop my rows, but that's okay. We will always figure it out for pile number one. What are their person's feelings for pile one? Pile one's person's true feelings right now. Do they still care for pile number one? Pile one, does that person still care? What are their feelings? This is the Hierophant. So that's Taurus. Sun, moon, rising in Taurus. What else for pile one? The person's feelings, do they still care for pile one? This is the Six of Cups. What else for pile one? Does that person still care? What are their feelings? This is the Ace of Wands. And as I said, a lot of these cards are about actions, but that's okay. We will figure this out together. What else for pile number one? Does their person still care? What are their true feelings? This is the Two of Pentacles. We'll grab one more card. What else for pile one? What are their person's true feelings? What are their feelings? Do they still care for pile number one? And this is the star. There we go. Quick cover up job there for the star. Let's move these cards out of the way. Okay. So pile one, does your person still care? Do they still have feelings for you? Yes, they do. And they have more than feelings. I feel for some of you that selected this pile, they have much more than just feelings for you, okay? Now, this Hierophant is about someone who wants a traditional relationship, whatever that traditional relationship looks like for you and your person. You're all in different situations, different scenarios. So that could be like moving in together, becoming exclusive, taking the relationship to the next level. That is very much what this Hierophant can be about, okay? But it's also someone who wants a traditional relationship. So a traditional relationship is something that has the potential to go the distance. It has the potential to go long term. Now, this Two of Pentacles also tells us your person is kind of going back and forth, trying to figure out what they should do, kind of like juggling these two pentacles here, kind of like when we used to pluck the petals off the daisies when we were kids, right? He loves me, he loves me not, she loves me, she loves me not. 
So I do feel that that is a little bit of what your person is doing right now in the general energy of this reading, trying to figure out if they want to come back into your life or want to move on, okay? That is very much about this energy, juggling it, trying to figure things out. However, this is also about knowing that they want to restore balance and harmony between you, okay? Knowing they want a balanced connection again. And this rainbow, a rainbow is always a symbol of hope. So there is still hope for this connection between you and the person that you are asking about today, Pile One people. Now this Ace of Wands, this is about action. This is the activation of fire. So there is a lot of passion here in this connection with your person, Pile One people, okay? You are probably aware of that. The two of you had many passionate moments and encounters and for some, I really feel, probably for all, it was really off the chart. We're just going to leave that there. But this Ace of Wands is always a, is also about someone who is taking action. It's about a fresh start. It's about a new beginning. It's about an opportunity for something to come back, to start over and start new. And that is what this Six of Cups is about as well. The Six of Cups is about someone from the past returning. It's about nostalgia. It's about thinking about, think, about how things should be, could be, ought to be, can be. It's what I like to call the shoulda, woulda, coulda dance, okay? But your person is definitely really thinking about bringing this connection back together with these cards that we have here. Although we did ask what actions they were taking was going to be on the second row, Spirit has decided to put it right on the top. Hopefully we'll, we'll get some more insight into their feelings when we put out the cards for the second row, okay? Um, now this star card. The star is also a symbol of hope, very much like this rainbow. But the star is also a card of healing. So it's not just about healing for you, or healing for your person, although I do feel your person probably does need some healing in order for this relationship to go the distance, and perhaps you do as well, pile on people, okay? But this is about healing the connection and healing the relationship. The star tells us that there is a very strong spiritual connection here between you and your person. So this could be a soulmate connection. It could be a twin flame connection. And I also say that as well because we do have this six of cups here, which is about the past. And the past can also be not just this lifetime in the past, but also past lifetimes. And when we have spiritual counterpart connections, such as soulmates or twin flames, although it doesn't have to be for this reading to work for you, this can tell us that the Six of Cups tells us there is a strong past life presence here in this connection. And it's trying to come back around in this lifetime. So the two of you can complete the life lessons and the spiritual growth. This is also about spiritual growth and spiritual awakening that the two of you have agreed to have with one another before you came into this lifetime, okay? So your person wants a traditional relationship, something that go, something that can go the distance. I do feel that is very possible here for some of you. This is about them taking action, taking action to restore balance and harmony in the connection, and also so the connection between the two of you, the relationship between the two of you can heal. Now the star also tells us that your person does feel your person does believe with the star being here that you are the ideal partner for them it's about you being perfect for them it's about you being the one for them so are there still feelings of love from your person does your person still care yes are they taking action to bring this connection back together i really do feel that that is more than likely the answer to that question, although we're going to put some more cards out with that question explicitly on the bottom row. So for pile number one, what actions is pile one's person taking? We'd like to see if they're coming back or moving on. For pile one, is their person coming back or moving on? What actions is their person taking? 
for pile one. What actions is pile one's person taking with them? This is the emperor. That's Aries. Sun, moon, rising in Aries. A place of validation for you if you like to use astrology for your pile selection. It does not have to be for this pile to work for you at all. What else for pile number one? What actions are their person taking? Are they coming back or moving on? This is the Seven of Cups. Interesting that that dropped down right there with that Six of Cups and with that Ace of Wands as well. So I do feel that your person is having a lot of fantasies of you. They're thinking about you. As I mentioned earlier, they're feeling very nostalgic right now. They're taking trips down memory lane, thinking about how things should be and could be. I do feel they're also thinking about a lot of passion passionate moments here between the two of you with this ace of wands and this emperor but this emperor also tells us that your person is putting together a plan in their mind they're thinking about formulating this plan and then acting upon that plan what else for pile number one what actions is their person taking with them are they coming back or moving on for pile number one this is the wheel this is the wheel of fortune things are changing things are changing for pile number one what else for pile one this is the ten of cups what else for pile number one is their person coming back and moving on what actions are they taking with pile number one and this is the ace of cups right okay pile number one so as i mentioned earlier i do feel your person is trying to formulate some sort of plan here with this emperor to then take action this seven of cups is again about them thinking about what they're going to do it's about having choices it's about having to make a choice again trying to figure out which action they're going to take with this two of pentacles and this seven of cups but this is also someone who has their head a little bit in the clouds and they do need a sense of clarity but that clarity is going to come because we also have this ace of wands and we have this ace of cups now the wheel of fortune is the wheel of fate it is the wheel of destiny the wheel of the universe is in constant motion it's constantly spinning turning 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 every time the wheel every time there's a click of the wheel everything changes everything is different because truly nothing is set in stone because the wheel of the universe is in constant motion constantly moving and i do feel that this card is telling us very much so that there is this strong feeling of fate and destiny between you and your person and i do feel that your person is trying to formulate this plan to take this connection to take this relationship where it wants to go now with this ten of cups this is hearth and home. This is about coming together as a family, building a home, having a family, planning a family, combining your families, a couple coming together into union with one another. The Ten of Cups tells us there's a fullness of emotion here. So what are your person's feelings? Do they still care? With this Ten of Cups and with this Ace of Cups, definitely, this is a fullness of an emotion. The Ten of Cups is a fullness of emotion and this Ace of Cups, very much like we talked about with that Ace of Wands, it's about a fresh start. It's about a new beginning. It is about the rebirth of love. So what actions is your person taking? Are they coming back or moving on? There is a very strong chance for some of you who selected pile number one today that they are coming back. They still have feelings of love for you. The love is still here. They know that they need to put a plan in place to take action because they are thinking a lot, a lot of nostalgic thoughts about you, about the connection, and they do want to have this traditional relationship with you, something that can go the distance. But I do feel that there is an awareness within them as well that they also still need to go through some healing for themselves perhaps it's past relationship drama or trauma or chaos or craziness that happened that they haven't really really truly released which is what is perhaps for some of you preventing them from being able to be fully present in this connection with you
right? But this Ace of Cups, are they coming back? This Ace of Cups says there's a very strong potential for your person to come back, take action, create this fresh start, create this new beginning, because there's a strong spiritual component to this connection. You still have life lessons you need to learn with one another. And there's a strong sense of fate and destiny applied to this connection as well. So let's move on and grab some Oracle cards. What actions is file one's person taking? What actions, what are their feelings? What actions are they taking for pile number one? Breakthrough, 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 yay. Yay, breakthrough. Okay, so remember I said here that there was some clouded thinking. I mean, this person in this card, the figure in this card has their head in the clouds. So there is some clouded thinking still. They're trying to gain some sort of clarity. And I mentioned that earlier, that they would be gaining clarity. This really confirms that. This breakthrough is about your person gaining clarity, gaining a deeper understanding being able to see the forest for the trees, having an epiphany, truly knowing what they want and being able to then put this plan in place to pursue this fresh start, new beginning with you, okay? Because they do want to come back. I do feel that that is the situation for many of you who chose pile number one. Let's see what else we get here for pile one. What actions are their person taking for pile one? Do they still care? What are their feelings for pile number one? Let's see here. Details, 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 details. And I love this card because look at that right there. Clarity. That was spectacular. I don't know how that happened. But that was spectacular. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Universe, for that small detail that you shared with us today about how super cool the Universe truly is in showing us synchronicities that many times I need to see in a reading. You guys need to see synchronicities as well. But this details details. This is really about your person gaining a sense of clarity. But it's also about them, look, we've got this wheel here as well, very much like this wheel of fortune. But it's also about them getting signs and synchronicities from the universe. They're angels and guides, perhaps giving them signs, synchronicities, having memories of you, seeing things that remind them of you, songs, your name, your initials on license plates, seeing your name on billboards, just lots of different things that remind them of you. I do feel the universe is kind of bombarding them at the moment to help facilitate this breakthrough so they have this sense of clarity. But deep in your person's heart, inside the heart of hearts of your person, with this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Cups being here, your person does have an awareness that, and with that star, that you are the one for them and that this is the connection and this is the relationship that they want to be in. And also it's the relationship for them that serves their best and highest good. Okay, pile one people. Let me grab some more cards here and uh, get some more information for pile number one. Is pile one's person coming back? What actions are they taking with pile number one? What actions is pile one's person taking? Lonely, bleak, isolation, something's missing, right? You are missing in their life. And I feel that there is a recognition of that. And again, I do feel the universe is giving them signs and synchronicities of that as well. What else for pile number one? What else for pile one? What actions are they taking with pile number one people? Both feet in, committed, invested, devoted. Well, I do feel like that is saying that your person is going to jump in with both feet and actually give this connection, give this relationship another shot. For some of you watching today, what else for pile number one? What else for pile one? Swept up, infatuated, passionate, romance, 
whirlwind. Now, here's the thing though, pile on people. It does say whirlwind here, okay? So, you've been with this person before. There's a lot of passion in this connection, like woo-woo, zoom-zoom passion. I feel that it's really important for you to not get swept up in this connection too quickly because we want to make sure that there's a strong foundation for this connection and for this relationship, okay? And because there's been no contact or you've been apart for a long time, there's going to be a, a real desire on both your parts to boo -boo 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 -boo, move it along, zoom, 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 zoom. And that while that can all be well and good, but if it goes too fast, it could crash and burn. So try to temper things, try to allow things between the two of you to move at a more natural and organic place. Yes, I know that that can be challenging, but this may be the time that you get some practice in setting boundaries and kind of like defining what you want in the connection and in the relationship with your person if you have not done that with them before to allow things to actually develop at a pace that will give this connection and give this relationship stability to go long term because the long term potential in this connection is here instant relationships don't ever really work okay maybe one percent of the time it's building a foundation with communication spending time together going on dates rebuilding the relationship not immediately jumping back into this connection and into this relationship okay okay i'm done preaching now i'm going to use some message cards this is our deck twin flame soul messages there'll be a link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this deck what i'd like to use these for is to get some messages from your person for no contact situations and please with the message cards it's really really important that you just take what resonates and let the rest go so let's see for pile one what does pile one's person want to say to them right now I feel broken up inside without you. Yes, you feel lonely because you feel like something's missing. That actually makes a lot of sense here from pile one's person. What else for pile number one? No. It's not you. I just have commitment issues. Remember this reading started off with that hierophant. And that hierophant is someone who wants a traditional relationship, okay? As is this 10 of cups. This doesn't look like there's commitment issues. So perhaps this is why we're getting the star in this reading as well, because your person is healing whatever it is within them that causes them to have commitment issues. So they may have had commitment issues in the past, but I feel they're working through those commitment issues, pile one people. Let's see what else we get for pile number one. Nothing and no one compares to you. Right. The star, again, you are the one for them. You are the ideal. They see this, they know this. There's an awareness of this within them. What else for pile number one? I'm constantly thinking and dreaming about you. Well, it makes sense with that seven of cups and that six of cups as well. You are always, you are everywhere and always there. It's like you put a spell on me. This is all so strange. It's not strange. The universe is sending signs and synchronicities. The universe is sending dreams. The universe is giving information to the, your person because there is this sense of fate and destiny between the two of you. There's a very strong connection here, okay? And I do feel your person, pile number one, still has feelings of love for you. I don't feel that love ever went away. They are really taking trips down memory lane and thinking about you and thinking about bringing this connection between the two of you past back together i do feel they're having to go through some healing okay inner work inner healing and that is something that they may have been working on this entire time that there's been no contact no communication okay? you are on their mind the universe is trying to bring this together and their intention right now is to come back and not move on from you or this connection their intention is to return this is your reading for today pile number one Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like some insight into your personal journey, 
A link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone. Hi, Pal2. Welcome to your reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're looking into no contact situations between you and your person to find out if they still care and to see if they're coming back or moving on. Please remember this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of it will resonate with everyone watching today. So please take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates with you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. To get the most out of today's reading, we will do it in two different sections. On the top row, we will ask spirit about their feelings to see if they still care. And then on the second row, we will ask what actions they are taking to see if they're coming back or moving on. That is the plan. Sometimes spirit will flip-flop the two rows, but we will figure this out. So let's get right into this reading for pile number two. What are pile two's person's feelings right now for them? How does pile two's person feel? Do they still care for pile two? For pile number two, how does their person feel about them right now? This is the moon, so that's Pisces. What else for pile two? How does that person feel? What are their feelings right now for pile number two? This is the Ace of Cups. What else for pile two? What are their feelings? Do they still care for pile two? This is the King of Cups. So that is the water signs. So that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you'd like to validate your pile selection with astrology, what else for pile what else for pile number two? How does their person feel about them right now? This is the death card. So that is Scorpio again. What else for pile two? Not too many. What else for pile two? How does their person feel about them right now? And this is the king of wands. Well, that is a very fascinating run of cards. Okay, pile two. Right, so this Ace of Cups, this tells us that your person still feels this deep love for you. It's also a card of renewal. It's also a card of fresh starts, new beginnings. So again, I said, sometimes we will show the actions on the top row, although we're asking for feelings, but we do have feelings here. So let's get right on with this reading, though. The Ace of Cups is about fresh starts, new beginnings when it comes to love. It's also about a fullness of love, the beginning of love. Now, this King of Cups, the King of Cups is the divine masculine of the emotional realm, okay? The King of Cups is someone who is emotionally mature. They're capable of expressing themselves, expressing their emotions. They will express their love for you through their words, through their actions, through their deeds, perhaps even through gifts. The King of Cups is someone who is capable, ready, willing, wanting, and able to have a long-term partnership, a long-term committed partnership, okay? That is what your person is thinking right now, and I do feel that that's true for many of you, but this reading starts out with this moon card. This moon card tells us that perhaps your person has hidden their true feelings from you when you were together before, if you were dating or you were in a relationship and they weren't really expressive of themselves or of their emotions and they hid those feelings and they hid those emotions from you. Perhaps they weren't comfortable being vulnerable. Perhaps they weren't comfortable opening up to you. But with this King of Cups being here and that King of Wands, this tells us your person is going to open up about their emotions and about their feelings. There's also a very strong intuition between you and your person that they are aware of. You can communicate without speaking. They know this. There's a very strong emotional connection here between you and your person and a very strong spiritual and passionate connection here between you and your person. Pile two people because we do have this king of wands. Now the king of wands is sitting on a throne that has two 
fire coming out of it, two wands coming out of it, two balls of fire. So many times I do feel that this can be the divine masculine in a twin flame connection, although it could also be a soulmate connection. Take what resonates and let the rest go. You don't need me to validate whether you're a soulmate or a twin flame or what kind of relationship you have. It doesn't really matter in terms of this reading anyway, because this pile selection will work for all kinds of relationships. But what is important about this King of Wands, and that is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries signs, the fire signs, is that the King of Wands is someone who's going to take action. They're not going to sit around and think about it like the Knight of Wands might. They will take action when they are ready to move and groove this connection to the place that it can go. Okay, now, we do have this death card, which is about transformation and change. It's about the phoenix rising from the ashes. So this tells us that what from death comes life, from death comes rebirth. It's the circle of life. Death is also, death is ruled by Scorpio, okay? It's about death and rebirth. It's ruled by Pluto. Pluto's the planet of death and rebirth. Okay, so this tells us that your person is really wanting to bridge the gap between the two of you and take this connection to the place of being able to come back together, being able to reunite with one another, being able to have this fresh start, new beginning with one another, because there is a very deep, powerful connection here. And perhaps your person wasn't able to see that before. Perhaps because we have this moon here, they weren't able to truly see it or they weren't willing to truly see it. And so they allowed it to be more of an illusion well, that illusion is gone, and they really see things. They can really see things clearly now. There's a sense of clarity here. They know that this connection with you is something special. It's something unique. It's something worth putting forth the effort and energy for, okay? So we do have some actions here in the top row, and that's okay. We said that might happen. Let's see what we get now, though, from your person in terms of what actions they're going to take? Are they moving on or are they coming back for pile number two? What actions is pile two's person taking with them? Are they moving on? Are they coming back? What action is pile two person's taking with them? And we have the sun. I just have to grab a yellow sticky really quickly. Well, that's fascinating the moon and the sun. So let's see what else we get for pile number two. Is there a person coming back? What actions are they taking for pile number two? This is the empress. What else for pile two? What else for pile number two? What actions is their person taking? Are they coming back or moving on? Do we have the chariot? That is cancer energy. What else for pile two? Is that person coming back, moving on? What actions are they taking with them? This is the nine of cups. What else for pile number two? What actions is that person taking with them? And this is the two of cups. Okay. Okay, pile two. I find this really fascinating because the moon is at night and the sun is during the day. So what this is saying is, what was once in the dark, in the dark of the moon, is now in the light of the sun. What was in the dark is now in the light. So things that you were not aware of before are all coming out. They're coming to the fore. They're coming out into the open. Okay? So if your person had been unexpressive of themselves, their feelings, their emotions for you, all of that is shifting and changing. The chariot is about forward movement. It's about taking action. It's about forward progress. Very much like this king of wands is about taking action. Now this nine of cups, the nine of cups, as you're all aware, is the wish card. So your person does believe that you fulfill what they're looking for in terms of a romantic partner. You are the person on that list. Okay? You are the person on that list. Now this empress, this is the divine feminine. 
The Empress is a card of long-term partnership. It's a card of, it's, it can be a card of commitment. It can be a, be a card of motherhood. It can be a card of planning a family together. So I do feel that you're a person, especially with these cards down here. The action that they want to take is to bring this connection together, back together for this opportunity, for this fresh start, new beginning with you, with that Ace of Cups and with this Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups is a union of hearts. Two people coming together for a romantic partnership and for a romantic relationship. Can also be soulmates. Very much like this Empress is about a long-term relationship. It's about a partnership. The King of Cups wants a long-term relationship. There's someone who, the King of Cups is someone who is emotionally available, capable, and ready to invest their time, effort, and energy into a partnership. They want someone who is that comes with stability, that comes with good communication, being able to really grow and evolve spiritually and emotionally together. This is what I feel this reading is telling us. Your person wants to give this connection between the two of you, this opportunity for them to come back, to have this fresh start, to build this relationship, and to allow this relationship to flourish and grow and become something that is very strong, very powerful. There is a very powerful connection here with you and your person. And with them embodying the energy of the King of Cups and the King of Wands, that is so much passion, so much love, so much passion and so much love coming at you from this person. There's nothing much better than that. Remember, this is about what was in the dark is coming into the light. The sun is also a card of fulfillment. It's about fulfillment, balance, harmony in a connection. It's the sun coming out to shine. Again, after a storm, allowing things to grow. It is about after periods of difficulty, separation, no contact. The sun is coming out to shine again on you and on your connection with this person. So now we're going to grab some oracle cards and see what actions for pile number two. What actions is your person taking with you, pile number two? Laughter. Laughter. So I do feel that this is going to be a lot of fun. Lots of laughter, restoring laughter, restoring balance, restoring harmony between the two of you, but also spending really good quality time together, okay? Remember I said what was in the dark is going to be in the light. Sometimes this moon card can also mean that there's been a period of depression, either for you or for your person, perhaps both. This is about bringing laughter back into your lives in terms of your connection with one another, being playful, having a good time, really enjoying each other's company and spending quality time together. Remember, there's lots of love, there's lots of passion in this connection. What else do we get for pile number two? What actions is pile two's person taking with them? For pile number two, what actions is their person taking with them? Slow and steady. So, when we go through periods of no contact and no communication with someone because they're ghosting or running or we've not we've been broken up for some time it's going to be really tempting to jump back into this connection and allow things to zoom 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 along especially because we have that king of wands there who's going to really pursue and really push and really put forth the effort and energy that they need to try and get this connection back with you Okay, so it's really important, pile two people, that you try to keep a balance. This Empress card would set boundaries. Perhaps you need to set some boundaries in not allowing this thing between you and this person to move really fast when it first comes back around, especially if you've been apart for a long time. And that is going to be so hard because the souls urge to merge right? The souls want to come together. They want things to really move and they want them to really kind of like get back to that place. But 
if it goes too fast, and this chariot being here, things could go swiftly, they could go quickly. If it goes too fast, you could hit another stumbling block or another block or fork in the road with them. And allowing things to develop slow and steady is what will give this connection between you and this person greater staying power. So let's see what else we get here. What else? The pile number two. What? Actions is that person taking with them for pile two? What are their feelings? What actions are they taking with pile number two? Wisdom, experience, knowledge, and discernment. And that very much comes in alignment with that king of cups and that king of wands. You will see more wisdom from your person. There's already an awareness within them especially because we have this empress here, they see you as someone who's wise. They will also be applying more wisdom to their actions and to this connection with you. What else for pile number two? What else for pile number two? Peace, harmony, balance, and tranquility. Peace, balance, and harmony is going to be restored to this connection between you and your person. I do feel that that is happening for some of you who chose this pile today. We talked about that also when we talked about the sun. What else for pile number two? What actions is that person taking? How do they feel for pile number two? Change, transformation, new chapter, rebirth. Well, death is very much about transformation and change. The Ace of Cups is very much about a new chapter, beginning a new chapter of your love story together. And then this death card as well is about transformation. Your person's changing or your person has changed. Perhaps they're in the final stages of that rebirth and of that change right now. Perhaps they are about to come out like this caterpillar. Okay, that's not a caterpillar, that's a snail. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, that's why it says slow and steady. Duh. Okay, that was a crazy moment. Just please ignore that diversion. I did not mean for it to go down that path. <gasps> but your person is changing, they're transforming. And I do feel for many of you that is happening with them now. This is about rebirth, it's about becoming a better version of who they were and this new chapter and rebirth very much about this ace of cups allowing this connection between the two of you to start over to start fresh with a new beginning on a much stronger foundation of love now i'm going to use some message cards to get some messages directly from your person this is our deck it is twin flame soul messages it does not have to be a twin flame connection for these message cards to work I will put a link in the description on how to get these cards if you're interested. It's just really important with the message cards that you just take what resonates and let the rest go. These message cards cannot apply to every single person in every situation. And so for pile number two, what messages can come from pile number two's person, please? What does pile two's person want to say to them right now? I'm still heartbroken over you. See that very much about that moon again, sort of like melancholy, sadness, even depression, perhaps with your person feeling that way, as well as you, obviously, but especially these no contact situations are hard. They come with so much heartbreak, so much difficulty. It's just so hard to deal with. I know I'm damaged, right? That that death card tells us that you are changing and transforming pile two's person. What else does pile two's person want to say to them right now? What else for pile number two? What else for pile two, please? I know we are deeply connected. Yes, very true. What else for pile number two? What else for pile two? I want you more than anything in this world, but I'm scared to take this leap of faith with you. You know what? They're not, and they won't be. Remember, they're transforming, they're changing, they're growing, they're evolving. They are becoming the power of this King of Cups and this King of Wands energy combined. Lots of love, lots of emotion, lots of fire, lots of passion. 
So does your person still have feelings for you? Do they still care? Yes, they do. Do they want to move on or do they want to come back? I do feel for some of you who picked this pile today, they will come back. I do feel that they do want to come back. They just have to get to the place where they're ready to take action. This King of Wands is about action. It's about someone who takes action, not just sit there and think about it or contemplate it. They do see that you are someone who is very important to them. They do recognize that you're very wise, that, that they are filled with peace when the two of you are together. They want to bring laughter, balance, and harmony back into your connection. They are so very attracted to you. And we get that with this Empress card, okay? You fulfill what they are looking for in terms of a romantic partner. You fulfill that wish list. This is your reading for today, Pile 2. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we would like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone. Hi, Pal3. Welcome to your reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, we're looking into no contact situations between you and your person to find out if they still care and to see if they're coming back or moving on. Please remember this is a general reading for the collective, so not all of the reading will resonate with you. So please just take in what speaks to your soul, what resonates with you and your situation, and release the rest to the universe. To get the most out of today's reading, we'll do it in two different sections. So on the top row, we'll ask Spirit about their feelings to see if they still care. And then on the second row, we will ask what actions your person's going to be taking so we can see if they're coming back or moving on. I do apologize for the shadows and for pile three looking different than piles one and two, but all of a sudden around two o'clock this afternoon, it got strangely dark here and I had to pull out the light boxes. So they do cast a bit of a shadow and I apologize for that, but we will make this reading work for you, pile number three. For pile number three, how does that person feel? What? Are pile three's person's feelings right now? Do they still care for pile number three? For pile number three, what are their person's feelings? This is the magician. There's still a very strong attraction there, pile three. Let's see what else for pile number three? How does their person feel? What are their true feelings right now? This is the hierophant, so that is Taurus. Sun, moon, rising in Taurus. That can be a place of validation for you. What else for pile number three? What are their person's feelings right now? How do they feel? Do they still care? This is the queen of pentacles. So that is the earth signs. So that's Taurus. We already have Taurus. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. What else for, what else for pile number three? How does their person truly feel? What are their feelings right now? Do they still care? This is the Empress. The Empress, what else for pile three? What are their person's feelings? Do they still care? How does pile three's person feel about them right now? And this is the Fool. Interesting. Two astrology wheels side by side. That's interesting. Okay, pile number three. Your person still finds you very attractive, okay? They're still very attracted to you. And they do think about what this connection could be like between the two of you moving forward, even though you are in no contact situations right now. Perhaps they're running, ghosting, blocking. Perhaps it's just a breakup between the two of you, okay? But this Hierophant tells us that your person does consider something that is traditional with you. They consider what a traditional relationship with you would be like. Now, tradition can be different for different people. Perhaps this is about moving in together after you get back together, um, moving in together, planning a family, starting a family. And I say that as well because we do have the Empress. Please take what resonates and let the rest go. Perhaps getting engaged, getting married, whatever the situation is for you and your person. 
This is what they're considering right now. Now, traditional relationships look different to different people. So again, please just take what resonates with you and your situation and let the rest go. Now, this queen of pentacles, they do feel that you are very nurturing, very supportive, very grounded, and very grounding. They also feel that you're very giving, that you give wise counsel, that you give good advice. And they feel that they can trust you with anything and everything that's going on in their lives. They also do see and they feel that you're somebody that is perhaps very dedicated to your work, to your job, to your career. They see you as a leader. This, this card shows that you're a leader. You're a mover and a shaker. You make things happen. Your career is important to you and you do want to build financial security and stability for yourself and for your relationships, okay? Whether it's with this person or with someone else. They also feel that with this Queen of Pentacles being here, that you would make a good long-term partner, that you would be a good fit for them long-term. They are thinking about stability. They're thinking about balance and harmony. They are thinking about where they can take this connection, okay? Now, this magician tells us that your person may need to grow some strength, some courage, perhaps willpower, um, grow up. And this magician card does tell us, again, that your person is so very attracted to you. But they also are aware that there is this deep connection here between you. We have this infinity symbol here. We have all the elements here. It's a spiritual connection. It's an emotional connection. It is a physical, passionate connection as well as an intellectual one. The two of you are able to share ideas. You're able to discuss many different things with one another. There is a good intellect between the two of you. And I do feel that they enjoy talking about different things and different topics with you. Now, this Empress card tells us that there's a lot of passion here. Your person has a lot of passionate thoughts. They feel that the two of you have a very passionate energy there. Lots of passionate moments, passionate memories, and they do take trips down memory lane and think about that quite frequently, possibly to the point of fantasizing, etc. Okay? But with this Empress card here, as well as this Queen of Pentacles, they do see you as this person who would be a very strong candidate for them from a long-term partnership, long-term relationship perspective, okay? They know that you come with stability. They know that you are wise. They know that you have strong empathy and telepathy with them. You understand them better than they under, have ever been understood by anybody before. This is something they know. This is something they see, and this is something they realize. And while this may not truly be about their feelings, or um, their true emotions for you. This is telling us that they do see and they do want for some of you watching today that picked pile number three, that there is this potential here for this connection between the two of you to turn into something that can go the distance. It can go long-term. They see you as a viable, romantic, long-term partner for them. Now, this fool card means many things. Perhaps your person is recognizing that they were foolish for letting you go, for going into this no contact situation with you, for breaking up, for running, for abandoning, for ghosting, for moving on, whatever the case has been between the two of you. This can be them seeing and recognizing that that was a stupid thing to do because there is an awareness within them, a very grounded, solid awareness that you provide what they are looking for in terms of a romantic partner. But this fool is also someone who's going to take the leap of faith. They're going to jump in with both feet. Yes, this is actions, and we did ask for actions on the second row, but Spirit did this on the other two piles as well, so we're just going to go with it and do the best that we can. This person wants to jump in with both feet. Now, you're... The, the fool is not ruled by any astrology sign, so I can't say that it's an astrology sign. But the fool is ruled by 
the planet Uranus. And Uranus is the planet of unexpected things. Things can shift and change just like that with Uranus. And Uranus is doing some crazy, crazy things in the sky right now through the fall and winter months of 2023, 2024. And anything can happen. Things can shift and change in the blink of an eye with this fool being present because it's about expect the unexpected. If it's been a while since you've heard from your person and I know some of you think a long time is two months and I know that there's some of you who haven't heard from your person, no contact situations for like five years, perhaps even 10 years, eight years. I'm trying to remember everything that I'm reading in the comments, but I know some of you have been in no contact situations with your people for a very long time. And even though there has been no contact between the two of you, I also saw the other day in the comments that someone has been in contact with their person after 40 years. I am not saying it's going to take that long to hear from your person. What I'm saying is anything can happen. Expect the unexpected, okay? So let's get on to the next part of your reading for pile number three and see what actions your person is taking with you. Pile number three, are they moving on? Or are they coming back? Although we do have a good inclination of what's happening here, I feel many times this fool can be about a fresh start, new beginning. What we get here for pile number three. What actions is pile three's person taking with them? For pile number three, what actions are they taking? Are they coming back? Are they moving on? The Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to cover that. That came up with one of the other piles, and I didn't cover it, and I think I probably should. Although you can't see anything, but whatever. So the Wheel of Fortune, there's a strong sense of fate and destiny here in this connection between you and your person. Okay, pile number three. Interesting that that dropped right there under that magician card as well with that infinity symbol. Okay, fate destiny. There's a reason the two of you are together. There's a reason that you're in one another's lives. Okay. Let's see what else we get for pile number three. For pile three, how, what actions is that person taking with them? Are they moving on? Are they coming back for pile number three? This is the three of pentacles, the three of coins. Your person does believe that the two of you work well together. They think you make a good team. Perhaps you're thinking about starting a business together. Perhaps you work together now. Perhaps you've worked together in the past. Perhaps you're thinking about building a company and working together moving forward into the future as well. They see you as a good team player and they think the two of you make a great team. You work well together, not just in terms of a relationship, although I do feel that that is implied here, but also in terms of building a business, working together, etc. So let's see what else we get here for pile number three. What action is pile three taking with them? Oh, the fool. Okay. Right. So again, expect the unexpected. Pile three people. This is about taking a leap of faith, jumping off that cliff, letting the universe catch them. So these are actions your person is taking. Which direction are they taking this? I do feel that they are taking this in, in the direction of wanting to have a fresh start, new beginning here with you about coming back and not moving on. But let's make extra sure here. What else for pile number three? What else for pile three? This is the king of pentacles. Well, that's interesting. We have a royal couple here. We have the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. So whenever I see a royal couple of the same suit, pentacles, coins, this can indicate that it's a soulmate connection or a twin flame connection. The king of pentacles is the earth signs. What else for pile three? What else for pile three? Let's grab one more card for pile number three. What actions will their person be taking with them? And this is the ace of cups. The Ace of Cups is about a fresh start, a new beginning. It's about a new beginning in love. It's a chance to start over. It's a chance to start again. So I do feel for some of you who selected this pile, there is this opportunity to start over, start fresh with your person. Remember we said expect the unexpected. 
Things can shift and change in a moment. The only thing is, with this King of Pentacles being here, and I swear the King of Pentacles comes up in every single pick a card reading, no matter which deck I pick to choose, no matter which deck I choose to, to use that day, there comes the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles is about having to be really kind of patient. The King of Pentacles doesn't move quickly, okay? They don't kind of like rush in. Although the change can happen quickly with this fool being here. They don't really rush in. They are absolutely sure before they make a move, before they take an action. But they do take action. The King of Pentacles wants longevity. They want stability. They want a partner that they can build a solid future with, like with this Three of Pentacles here. They want a solid future. They want it based on financial security and stability. They want the nice things in life. They want to take trips. They want to do fun things together. They will show you their appreciation. They will express their appreciation to you through gifts, through their words, okay, this is someone who wants longevity. It's someone who wants a long-term, long-range plan. Remember, there's fate and destiny involved. And sometimes when there's fate and destiny involved, that's the universe kicking in. And that is the divine timing of the universe because there is a divine connection here, divine masculine and divine feminine, because we also have this empress as well as the divine feminine. So we have when we have these kind of connections, it can take, some time for them to really get to the place where they can come to reunion. Have the lessons been learned? Have you learned your lessons, Pile 3 people? Have they learned their lessons as well? Because those lessons are necessary for both of you to grow and evolve so that when this comes to union again, when this can, comes back together for this fresh start, for this new beginning, the two of you are much more in sync with one another. That gives stability to the relationship and it gives it long lasting staying power. So let's see what else we get for pile number three. We'll use some oracle cards now for pile number three. What actions is pile number three's person taking with them? Are they coming back? Are they moving on? Well, yes, make a decision. They are going to make a decision and they have to make that decision. But again, this comes back to this King of Pentacles. I do feel they're going to be absolutely sure before they act upon that decision. It may take them a little bit of time to make that decision, but they will make it. This Fool card is also about, and you've got it twice, the Fool is also about making a decision. It is the person standing at a crossroads trying to figure out, are they going left? Are they going right? Are they going to take a jump? Take a leap off the edge of the cliff. So again, your person is making a decision. They are going to choose what they're going to do. And I feel that they are not fully 100% sure yet. I do feel some of them may not be sure. I feel some of them probably are sure. And I feel like some of them are still in that place where they're not quite sure which direction they're going to go. So let's see what else we get here for pile number three. What actions is their person taking? Coming to life. This is about movement. This is about coming out of a place of stagnation. This is about coming out of a place of being stuck. So again, this again can be very much like this fool. Unexpected, expect the unexpected. Changes starting to happen. Things starting to shift and change. That's what this is very much about. After this period of stagnation, no contact, at a stalemate, in a rut, just completely and totally stuck between the two of you, all of a sudden, your person's going to come to life and start taking action and start doing what they need to do to bridge this gap between the two of you, to create this new beginning in love, to take this leap of faith and make a decision to decide which direction they're going to go. Remember, there is fate and destiny attached to this connection between you and your person. And with this hierophant there, 
This person does want something that is traditional, that can go long term, okay? Going to grab some additional cards here. So for Pile Three's person, what actions is Pile Three's person taking with them? For Pile Number Three, what actions is their person taking with them? What are their feelings? What actions are they taking? Feminine energy. This is, says nurturing, creative, and receptive. And this is very much, you will put this over here with this Empress and this Queen of Pentacles. I do feel that they recognize that you have a lot of feminine energy. Please just take what resonates with this card and let the rest go. I do know that about 98% of the watchers of this channel are, are feminine or feminine energy. So please just take what resonates and let the rest go. But this as well could be your person recognizing that they need to embody more feminine energy with you, being more nurturing. What else for pile number three? What actions is pile number three as well? This dropped. Which path, indecision, crossroads, stalemate? We have talked about that. And we do know that your person is going to make a decision. And this is where they've been. Which path? They've been at this place of indecision. They've been, been at this place of stalemate. They've been at this place of a crossroads about trying to figure out which direction to go. This is time for the crossroads to be over. We have the fool here twice. The fool will start to move. Okay, I'm not calling your person a fool, although maybe um, they may feel foolish for allowing this to get to the place that they have with you. But this is about taking action. What else for pile number three? What action is pile number three's person taking with them? Signs, synchronicity, serendipity, confirmation. That king of pentacles is someone who's going to look for confirmation. They will look for confirmation. They will look for signs. They will look for synchronicity. They will want to tick off every box, dot every I, cross every T. They are going to perhaps go into analysis paralysis, and perhaps that's where some of them have been, but things are going to shift and change. Remember the fool. Expect the unexpected. There's fate and destiny attached here to this connection and to this relationship for many of you who selected pile number three today. So now I'd like to use some message cards. This is our deck, Twin Flame Soul Messages. It does not have to be a Twin Flame connection for these cards to work for you. It's just really important with these message cards that you take what resonates and release the rest. These are for sale. I will put a link in the description on how to purchase these if anyone is interested. So for pile number three, what does pile number three's person want to say to them? We will find each other again. I will always find you. Yes, you will. You will always find each other. As this magician card shows, there is an infinite connection between you and your person. There is a strong soul connection, divine masculine, and divine feminine connection here. What else for pile number three? What else for pile number three? I'm taking this time to really work on myself right now. Please be patient with me. I'm learning. Being patient is hard. But I read something the other day, and I thought it was fabulous. And it was just one sentence, and it said, Patience is unconditional love. Think about that. Patience is unconditional love. Unconditional love is patience, right? When you truly love someone unconditionally, you're willing to give them the time, effort, and energy they need to work on themselves and fix whatever it is they need to work on. Okay, I understand that being patient is hard, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, stop preaching now. What else for pile number three? What else? Let me see. I know in my heart that someday, somehow, we will be together again. What else for pile number three? What does their person want to say to them right now? I'm still desperately longing for you. There's only one way to fix that pile three's person. There is the best way to fix that is to reach out and communicate to your Pile number three, okay? 
So pile number three, does your person still have feelings for you? Do they still care? Yes, they do have feelings for you. They recognize that you are a very strong contender for them from a long-term relationship perspective. They can see a future with you. They do consider a traditional relationship with you. Things can shift and change at any moment because this fool is here twice, twice the power of expect the unexpected. There's a strong sense of destiny attached to this connection with your person, with this wheel of fortune being here as well. The king and queen of cup, the king and queen of pentacles. This is a divine couple, a divine masculine, divine feminine. It is going to be something that doesn't move really quickly, but we do have a divine couple here with this king of pentacles and queen of pentacles. But a union between a king and queen of pentacles is something that has stability. It has longevity. It may take a minute to get to that place, but when it is in union, it's something that can go the distance. There is still love here from your person. They would like to have a fresh start, a new beginning with you with this Ace of Cups. And although things may have been dormant or stagnant or at a crossroads between the two of you for some time, things are going to start shifting and changing and coming to life. Expect the unexpected, Pile 3. This is your reading for today, Pile Number 3. Thank you so much for watching and allowing us to share your journey. And if you'd like to look at your personal journey, a link with details for getting private readings with us is in the description and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone.